On May 1, 2022, the Austell Police Department received a report of a shooting on the road in Austell, Georgia. The victims, a driver with their passenger and two children, claimed the suspect cut them off and then fired two shots at their car, leaving a bullet hole in the hood. They followed the suspect, keeping the police updated on his location. Austell police pulled over the suspect's vehicle and for safety reasons, they approached the vehicle with caution, ordering the suspect to step out at gunpoint. He was handcuffed and detained for questioning. I'm gonna put him in your car. What the hell did I do? I'll talk to you in just a second. I'm trying to find him up and see a friend of mine. What the hell is going on? You got anything on your no. post app, Stigmy? No. Right. Place the car up for him. Patch it down. Make sure you ain't got no weapons. No. Any weapons in the car? Yeah. All right. I got a red Officers informed the suspect of the reason for his detainment the report of him shooting at another car on the road. The suspect denied the accusation but did admit to having a gun in his car. Just a gun in my car. All right, we'll have a seat. So this is what's going on. We got a call saying that you shot at another vehicle as you're going down the road. That vehicle was following you. That's how okay. we knew it was you. That's fine, but it's so just not did true. You shoot? No. It's not? Why would I shoot at somebody? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah, my guns are just I don't randomly just shoot at people. I was going to see one of my friends just flew in town from Colorado. I have no issues with nobody. Okay. Well, why was you going in and out of traffic? Because traffic is traffic. It's like... I'm but you got in a turn of lane and you dropped back into the... Oh, because that person was driving slow. You know you're not supposed to do oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I'm in trouble for. I apologize for that, but that's... No. Well, I was trying to hurry to get down the road. Turn, turn, put your leg in. So, what's the investigation? Uh, we're going to uh, figure out what uh, about the shooting that happened that they said you did. So, so just because somebody said something happened, I could be in trouble? Yeah, you shot out of a moving vehicle. We I gotta do an investigation. I didn't shoot. Okay, well, I didn't, but go ahead and do your investigation, sir. Go okay. ahead. Where's that gun at in your vehicle? It's in my glove compartment. I didn't even keep the clip in it. It's in my glove compartment. I have an extra clip. They're both in my glove compartment. Okay, give me just a minute. Peace. He's, he's saying the gun's in the glove box. Yeah. I did not know Douglas was right there behind me. I was like, man, if this man pulls over. It's a 15 round. 16 round mag. See, 14, so missing two. How many, how many you say they shot? Officers spoke with the victims, two males with two children in the car. The driver, still shaken from the ordeal, recounted the events. 
He told officers that the suspect cut them off on the road and then fired two shots directly at their car. The officers observed a bullet hole on the hood of the car, a clear sign of gunfire, and documented it with photographs for evidence. I don't know where the second one went. That's what one I only heard two. So you did, you did hear two? Uh, I heard two. Okay. We got two missing from the thing, so. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm not running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got your idea on your side. He said he heard two rounds too. Well, he shot two. But he don't know what that was. I didn't hear at that point. I was like, holy shit. And then my buddy's like, he hit the hood. But we weren't even like right next to him. He was like, I said he shot out like this. He was like this. Rolled his window down. Didn't say shit. Just fired two shots on him. He didn't say a word. He shot out of the passenger window or the driver? No, he was out of the. We were on. He was driving right here. He was on that way. So I was in the back. He cut me off. With like no roof, and I went up to the side, and he pulled down his back window and shot uh, a bad driver or passenger, back passenger. Yes, okay. back passenger. Shot the back passenger. Right, I'm gonna go see if there's any cases in the car. Oh, you did? I didn't see anything. I'm about to say there's gonna be some in here somewhere. And with kids in the vehicle, two kids, so that's crewing the children as well. Officers also found a bullet casing under the back seat, potentially linking suspect to the shooting. Yeah, I got it. Never mind. Yeah, go ahead. It's only one, so I don't know what the other one is, though. Yeah, I got one. Yep. Anybody, anybody behind me, I didn't know where my closest unit was. No, no, he was. <laughs> I don't know where my closest unit is, and I seen it starting to pull I'm, over. I'm, I was like, oh shit. I was about to hang out there throwing a mess, and we went from which the vehicle come out, and I saw the vehicle go back. I said, hey, what the fuck? It's an 18, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Oh, I said, what? I was feeling. Yeah, I was like, man. The passenger corroborated the driver's story, adding that he woke up and saw the suspect's car pull up next to them and started shooting. So, tell, tell me what happened. Uh, I was sleeping in the passenger seat. Buddy says, what the hell happened? And everyone's going to me off. I wake up. Uh, the car's like a foot in front of us. Mm -hmm. He pulls up beside him, rolls down his window, goes like this. The guy rolls down his window, goes, bah, bah, shoots twice. I'm like, what the hell? Okay. 
have followed him and called you guys. Okay. You got your idea on me. This is my welcome to America. Thirty-six copy out of Canada. Twenty-seven. Where exactly did it happen at? Where did it exactly happen at? Like, do you know exactly like the road and stuff? Was y'all paying attention? No, I mean it was on this road. I mean we probably named off about six streets we were crossing. I didn't know what we were coming up across because I've only been here. Yeah, I gotcha. <coughs> People one shot. We got close to one. Two, two feet back. I would have got a little bit faster. Kid got shot. I would have got shot in front of my kids. For what? Is exactly where did it happen at? I mean, I, like I told him right before the area. Like when we we called him as soon as it happened. So okay. whatever that we said, like Thornton and Garrett or whatever. I know it's important for you guys, but that, that's the soonest because you know it's there's nothing yeah. out there. You know. It was it like? It was okay. It was after Governor's. They keep going. You'd probably just drive back there. I don't even remember. I mean, dude, I was foolish. So it was after, after governors? Yes, it was way after governors. Meanwhile, another officer advised the suspect of his Miranda rights and asked if he was willing to answer questions and provide his statement. He agreed, but maintained his innocence of shooting at anyone and claimed the bullet casings were from a recent trip to the shooting range. You ready? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Right. Yeah, the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the rights that I just read to you? Mm -hmm. With these in mind, do you wish to talk to me? Yeah, sure. Okay, what happened? Nothing. I'm driving and somebody apparently said I shot at him. I'm driving down to see my girl, well I would say my girlfriend, my friend flew in town from Colorado. I'm driving down the street to see her. It's typical Georgia fucking driving. Like, I didn't take it. I don't know what what the hell's going on. Okay. You sure? Yes. Because we found spent cases. He's saying you shot. He's got a bullet hole in his hood. We found spent cases in. Yes, it did. I, I go to the shooting range all the time. I have cases in my car all the time. Did he read you your Miranda? Yeah, he did. All right, what happened? You want to talk to us? I don't matter. Listen, what the hell's going on? I always have. I don't say always, but I I find shell cases in my car. I go to the range a lot. I don't. I can't explain uh, his listen, car. Listen, we're asking you what happened. I don't. You. Nothing. I'm driving down the street to see a friend from Colorado. I literally just dropped my kids off to my Did mom's you, house. What's your name? Sam. 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 Listen. So, we normally don't have someone calling 911 saying somebody shooting at them. And driving then, out. Yes. Yeah, freaking then, weird. Listen. Listen. Let me talk for a second. Okay. Go ahead. Usually we don't have somebody calling 911 saying somebody shooting at them and they got bullet holes in their car. And then, so that's why I'm giving you, this is the only opportunity I'm going to give you. If there was a road rage incident or something going on between you and this other guy, that's what we're trying to find out. Because this is the only opportunity I'm going to give you a chance to talk to us and give us your side of the story. So that's why I'm trying to ask, was there something going on between you and this other VIP over here? After continued questioning and presented with the evidence, the suspect finally changed his story yet again. Legit, honestly? No, honestly, yeah. Yeah, he pulled up next to me. Okay. He spit out my car, and then I saw him reach for something, so I just reached. I just did, tried to defend myself. That's what happened. What do you mean, tried to feel yourself? Tell defend me. Defend myself. He, defend he pulled up next to me, screaming whatever, Where right at? next to me. Where were y'all at? To my right, coming down Dallas Highway, not 278. Okay. And he sit there, spit. Him and his friends cursing. I saw him pop the glove bar. I don't know what the hell they about to do. There, I, there was a rope. Yes, I don't know why he was mad. I still don't know why he was mad. Were y'all like... Yeah, he pulled up like, next to me. Rolled down his window screaming. I was and like, then what? Spit, and then I saw him... Buddy. Then what'd you do? I shot twice because I saw him reach for something. Okay. But you didn't, did you see what he had? I didn't see. Was okay. I supposed to wait? No, I'm just asking. Okay. Because he's sitting there doing... He's doing like trick shit. Like, motherfucker, mother... Then he sit down and reach. Okay. And there's two of them in the car, and there's one of me. Well, there's kids in that car, too. Well, I have to see, I just dropped off my car, dropped off my kids. I have car seats. I have okay. kids, too, to okay. worry about. All right, I understand. All right, I watch, front... watch your legs. Can All you right. turn on the AC for me? Yeah, we'll turn it on. Okay. Well, that answers that.
Yeah, yeah, I, I fight behind him. Um, at, uh, when they're going across the waterway, they're going the waterway. I was behind him all the time. Yeah. Uh, this guy keeps pulling the circle. It's the second time he circles around here. But anyway, uh, there's a couple things. Uh, Mitchell Mirandized him. He wanted to not really be truthful, and then we explained to him this is his opportunity to tell us what happened. He was explaining, and the car pulled up beside him. He spit on his car, and he didn't know what he was going to do, so he shot at him twice. Is that what you got? That's what you said. So, because he says he didn't know what he had in his hand and all that, talk to the guy, see if they got any weapons in the car, ask him mind if we search just to make sure because his story is that he was scared was, and you don't shoot at a car like that yeah uh, and uh, see if he minds us y'all looking in his car make sure ain't no guns in there okay y'all are you got the other guy Shot into those windows. We might have some dead children there. Yep. So we got to get the names, yeah, names, the names, and ages of the kids. Yeah. 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 Let me get on the phone with uh, CIDs if they want to do anything with them. Okay. The police needed to verify the suspect's self defense claim. They retrieved the gun from the victim's car and confirmed it was legal. Most importantly, the driver and all the passengers in the car denied the suspect's allegation that the driver reached for a weapon. Uh, you got any weapons in the... I have one in the left compartment. You mind if we... Uh, look at it. No, hey, don't, don't go to it. We got it. Okay, go ahead. But I didn't... Okay. Did you have anything in your hands whenever he pulled yeah. up beside you? Because yeah. okay. he was he tried to say that yeah, you had something in your hand, he just didn't know what it was. Just gotta ask the questions. I know, but I figured out what he says he was probably dude, we never even got really close on to him. Yeah. He didn't see or say anything to him. Like it was like nothing, like his window was already down and he was waiting. Like it was it was eerie. Yeah. And I thought he shot over him, that's what he was like. like it didn't even register that he really shot because I was like, why? Why would you even shoot him? Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, I have kids in the car. Like, and even then, if I was going to, wouldn't I have followed him? Or, you know, I'm not going to engage in a gunfight. Yeah. I just got to get into it. So, I'm going to ask y'all, can y'all tell me what happened? I, I don't know. You don't know? I, just, I knew that. Just be honest, Anzi. Uh, it's okay. I Did you see anything, big guy? You don't know? Okay. All right. So let me get another pen real quick, but I'm gonna get you guys to fill out sworn statement forms. Um, so we can have a pen if you want. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Be right back. What's up? Okay. This just sucks. Um, what y'all what y'all doing with my truck? One. He's gonna get two. I can't have nobody come get it. No. Not at all. No, sir. Uh, will I be given information where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll, it'll, it'll. I think it's being towed by Dixie, but we'll, you'll definitely, we'll have something somewhere saying that it's going to be towed, getting towed to Dixie. Okay. Okay. Um, can I write down a couple phone numbers? Can I call well, somebody I, right now? I'll probably right now. No, but when we get, we're literally just down the road. Cause, but the numbers are in my phone. I got you. No, you're, we're taking, we're bringing your phone too. Okay. And when we get there, I'll let you call who you need to call. Okay. Okay. And I, you probably didn't notice. Can I? Do you mind if I stand real quick so I can show you? What's up? Just tell me. Like my, I almost lost this my left hand years ago. Okay. My wrist is really. F you can probably see the big ass scar. Like I, it's kind. Of, my my pinky's going numb. Can you just loosen this left one for me? It's killing right. me right now. Face away from me. I mean, turn. I can't turn. It's kind of hard for me. 
I got you. <laughs> I can't really turn. I got long ass legs. Um, you want me to back up to that door? Can yeah, just back up to that. Okay. He was charged with four counts of aggravated assault with a weapon, discharge of a gun near a public highway or street, and cruelty to children in the second degree. Ah, I got you. Okay. Let me, loosen, <laughs> let me loosen that up a little bit. Please, this shit's killing me. Oh my god. Do y'all, can people bond out today? Uh, I'm not sure. Not, not with what we got going on with you, okay? Not? I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know. What's going on with me? You got four counts of aggravated assaults. Four? Yes, there's four people in that car. What the fuck? So... The fact that they pulled up next to me, in, initiated it, and now I felt like I was defending. I wasn't even trying to hit nobody. I was trying to get them away from me. I did not know what they were doing. There's a, there's a list of things you can do before you start shooting. Okay. What, hell, what am I supposed to? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go there. But what am I supposed to wait for? Or am I supposed to sit there and argue with them and hope and make? Hey, what do you have? Where are you pulling out? Now, listen, right now is not the time to argue. That, that I'm, not, I'm asking. No, I'm asking. I'm not arguing. Well, I'm gonna take you back to the police department. Okay.